of our audiences now. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Mr. Donnie McCall, uh, Director of Technical Services and Compliance Help Systems. And um, we'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Donnie here, who has uh, been with us before time. Uh, thank you for joining us once again. And uh, I'd like to tell our uh, viewers, our audiences, our delegates who've joined us now, uh, that he is going to be talking to us on accelerating adoption of data protection. So over to you. That is great. Thank you very much indeed. So welcome everybody. I am Donnie McCall. I work for Health Systems, or Titus is probably how you'd know it in your own region. I'm the technical director for APAC and EMEA, and I'm also responsible for uh, data protection compliance worldwide for GDPR and various other regulations as well. I'm going to be talking to you today about accelerating the adoption of data protection, securing data, and some of the recommended areas of security, loosely speaking, and the associated solution areas that I feel we should focus on. Now, I do have a lot to cover, so I might talk rather quickly. Apologies for that. Look, security is always high on the list of challenges that companies need to deal with. Uh, this year has, in my opinion, just more than ever, really helped companies focus on allocating budget towards security-related initiatives. We've got a huge remote workforce for the first time ever. I mean, pretty much everybody's working from outside the office. And we've seen a change in security-related incidents where common mistakes, perhaps caused by distractions at home or not being in the office have led to an increase in items that we need to address. I've seen fines being issued by regulatory authorities where it applies and the need to be clean, squeaky clean to term a user when it comes to security and the integrity of data has never been a higher priority. If we just take a moment to have a look at the current um, data landscape, the current global data landscape, I should say. The amount of data is growing faster than it ever has done before, and it shows no sign whatsoever of slowing down. Compliance is urgent, it's costly, but lack of compliance is really costly. Failing to comply and being caught is much more costly and can lead to damage of company reputation, and in severe cases, the total collapse of the company. If we look at the people's privacy and protection of people, people's data, it isn't an option. We must practice privacy by design in everything that we do, and we must also take responsibility for ensuring that all employees, all employees are aware um, of, of data protection by, by design, and also that they know how to uh, report a data breach or a suspected data breach, and they shouldn't have to think about it. It should be just nature and everything that they do. The work and life is changing, and the one constant is change, and it's going to continue to do so. Just staying on the landscape, let's review um, information governance and, and some of the questions that we should ask ourselves. So we're talking about standards. Do we identify information accurately? Are we mapping where the data flows to and from, especially for critical and sensitive data? Do we know how all the information we have is used? Are there patterns and trends of data usage that we could use for predictive analysis, perhaps? Is data that we are custodian of, as we are using that data, do we protect it and secure it while it's in our ownership? Do we have data retention policies in place? Are they published? Are they monitored? Are they adhered to? Are they updated regularly? And do we ensure that data is continually protected? As I mentioned, that all employees are aware of how to identify a data breach and how to report it, and also report it promptly. Now, I'm going to spend a few minutes on this slide, if I may. This is where, uh, say, compliance is driving the need for enhanced data protection. A number of steps we can take. I mentioned the remote workforce scenario, accessing data from houses outside of our corporate networks, our corporate firewalls, the security initiatives that we take for granted when we're actually in an office. This is an added challenge to the already grown regulatory compliance regulations that we must adhere to. And if we don't adhere to them, we open ourselves to huge fines, reputational damage. Some companies never recover from it. Bad news travels fast, right? <laughs> Now, these are just on this, this uh, screen, just some of the regional regulations that I talk about that must be adhered to globally. Now, I live in the UK. I work for, and we're no longer part of Europe, I work for a company headquartered in the US. We've got employees in 25 plus countries. So the, and most continents, I understand the challenges that everybody has. Uh, I'm there with you. 
Let's just drill down. We'll go to the, the um, cycle that I mentioned of how we can assist you with your security data challenges. And this is common regardless of, um, of industry that you're in. So when we talk to industries and organizations about data loss prevention, data protection and compliance projects, it's a number of questions that we typically should ask and we should ask ourselves. Luckily, help systems, Titus, uh, we can help you with a number of areas there. What is my sensitive data? Now, we have Titus, as you know, with Bold and Jane's data classification solutions. What we can do there, we can assist you with defining policy for what your sensitive data is. Provide the end users with the ability to classify the data so they know best what type of data it is. And um, provide you an electronic backstop, which is assisted with machine learning to ensure that if a user makes mistakes or misclassifies something, that you can automatically and consistently uh, apply the appropriate policy. Uh, remove the pain of what's traditionally a huge manual task. We've got automated data discovery. We can scan local networks and cloud storage. Who's got access to your data? Oh, apologies, I'll get back one. Uh, we'd, who's got access to your data? We can gain easy and full visibility. Who's access to your sense of data? Using our core IGA solutions. And we can also say, how do you control access to it? Companies are good at joiners and leavers. The bit in between companies aren't so good at. So typically, if people join and leave, that's okay. But when they change roles, they may retain all the rights and the uh, data access that they had before. How's it being shared? Clear for solutions, we can deploy it into email, web, MFT, endpoint solutions as well. We can monitor all your data, quickly understand how your data is being shared like a learning mode. And once you know that, you can then assign policies to tailor and prevent inappropriate access, but enable very simply and easily appropriate access and sharing of data. If you have to share the data, which you will, you can use a manifold transfer solution to make sure it's encrypted and shared with business partners and so on. Uh, once you've got that place, how do you know how secure your policies are? We have a core security and cobalt strike solutions or penetration testing, gain an insight into the risk of your data, the systems, the services from internal as well as external threats. Now, data, you need to know what data you've got. The first and foremost important step is protect the data is know what data you have where it is, who's got access to it, do they still need access to it? Classifying what's good and bad and what's sensitive, what's critical. If you're just starting out in your data protection journey, that's good because you're doing something about it. If you're in a great position that you already know where all your data is, that's also good, but it doesn't mean you're finished. It just means you're on the next step of your continuous and dynamically changing data protection and compliance journey. Would you prefer where we've got the left-hand side, a bucket of one-size-fits-all, unstructured, uncontrolled data? That exposes your business to fines or failure, or the right-hand side, a structured, controlled, protected environment where you're confident you're meeting current legislation and you're ready for the inevitable enhanced and change in legislation coming your way. Now, just take a moment to take in the lots of information that's thrown at you. Let me tell you a little bit about Help System before I wrap up. We started in 1982. We've got over 20,000 customers worldwide, revenue of over 340 million. We focus on support and our staff in the support staff have to average tenure of nine years. I'm particularly proud about that. It means that we've got great solutions. Uh, we've got great w workplace. And it also means that with um, employees that hang about, that are here for a long time, in our 25 offices worldwide, you've got access to technical information at your fingertips when you need it. I do also want to pause again and say, we are truly a global company. We have offices in Asia Pack, had them for a while. We did not have a local presence in India until we acquired Titus data classification this year. And I cannot tell you how delighted we are with the workforce, the commitment, the quality of everything we've experienced in a short time for novice in India is amazing. We are committed to the Indian market. We've already got plans in place for 2021 and beyond. More on that later, just before I do finish up. We focus on security and automation. It's what we do as a company. Security is what we're talking about today, obviously. On the left-hand side, we have a broad portfolio of solutions, include data security, such as our Go Anywhere, Secure Man Fund Transfer, our Clear Swift Data Loss Prevention, and also one that you already know, Tivis, the data classification and Bolton James too, which brings along military messaging as well as data classification. The IGA stands for Identity Governance 
and administration, and it gives you uh, access to various solutions, which when you combine it with our automation solutions, gives you automated security, and we've got infrastructure protection as well. On the right-hand side of the screen, as I mentioned, we have the automations. We've got a broad sweep there. Bottom-up infrastructure automation for vital capacity management, workload automation with jams for back-end office or batch automation, and we've got automatic, we've got um, help system automate RPA, robotic process automation. I've mentioned a lot of solutions. Um, do you have to remember how it's accessible individually? Absolutely not. This is our platform vision, our single pane of glass. The idea being you have a, your own individual screen. You sign on, you've got a gateway to your security and your automation solution from health systems um, that tailored to you. We have the health system security suite, people processes and technology, key role when it comes to enforcing an effective data security strategy. A title and health system, we can become an integral part of your organization's overall data security strategy, complementing your processes, being there as a last line of defense when, and it will happen when people make a mistake. We understand what you need to gain visibility of sensitive data, create data classification policies. And we found when talking to organizations, if you want guidance, we can help you all along the way. We can go in, we can sit in between your information data flows, where it's coming from, where it's going to, and in the middle, make sure it's, it's securely. We prevent external and in, internal breaches, and we can protect your sensitive data at well, whether that's at rest or in motion. This is the last two minutes, the help system data security suite lifecycle. The data that's on-prem, in the cloud, anywhere in between. We're going to classify your data. We'll help you protect it and prevent loss. We'll secure it at rest and in motion. We'll encrypt it as a final line of defense to make sure you're protected. And just to recap what I spoke about rather quickly today, and I do appreciate you all listening, Titus in India is now Help Systems Go To Market Leader. As I mentioned, we've got expansion plans in India and in our existing APAC offices too. We're truly committed to the Indian market and the amazing pool of talent and innovation that we see there. It's, it's been an absolute delight um, acquiring a company with offices in India. Um, to complement data classification, we have this suite of security solutions that we mentioned, with data protection and compliance for all types of data, wherever it is. And as you can see from this slide, what we want to do in conjunction with you is to help you enhance security, achieve compliance, achieve business value and we want to be there to help and work with you every step of the way thank you so much for listening i really do appreciate it